Have you ever wondered if there might be more than just our universe out there? It's a question that has been boggling the minds of scientists and philosophers alike for centuries. The concept of a universe, a vast expanse of space and time, filled with countless galaxies, stars and planets, is already mind-boggling enough. But what if I told you that our universe might just be one of many? This is where the concept of a multiverse comes into play. Imagine a cosmic quilt of sorts where each patch represents a different universe, each with its own laws of physics, its own galaxies, stars and planets. Some might be similar to ours, while others could be wildly different. This isn't just a concept born from science fiction novels or blockbuster movies. The multiverse theory is a legitimate scientific hypothesis rooted in the realms of quantum mechanics, string theory and cosmic inflation. It proposes that our universe, the one we can observe and study, might just be a tiny bubble in an infinite cosmic ocean filled with countless other bubbles or universes. But why even consider such a mind-boggling concept? Well, the answer lies in the mysteries that our universe presents to us. Dark matter, dark energy, the nature of time, the origins of the Big Bang. These are all questions that our current understanding of the universe struggles to fully answer. The multiverse theory offers potential solutions to these mysteries. And while it's still a theory, it has sparked a revolution in our understanding of the cosmos. Now, I know what you're thinking. If these other universes exist, where are they? How do they function? What do they look like? These are all fantastic questions and ones that scientists are actively trying to answer. So, let's delve deeper into the rabbit hole and explore the fascinating concept of the multiverse. If there are other universes, how would they function? And what would they look like? Let's dive into the multiverse theory to find out. So, what exactly is this multiverse theory? Well, the multiverse theory in simplest terms is a hypothetical concept that suggests our universe isn't the only one out there. Imagine it like this. Our universe, with all its galaxies, stars and planets, is just one tiny bubble in a vast cosmic foam of countless other universes. Intriguing, right? The origins of this theory can be traced back to the realms of quantum mechanics and cosmology. In the quantum world, particles can exist in several states at once, and it's only when we observe them that they snap into a single state. This idea led to the concept of parallel universes, where all possible states of a particle exist, each in its own separate universe. Meanwhile, from the cosmological perspective, it's theorized that our universe might be just one of many born out of cosmic inflation, a rapid expansion of space that occurred just after the Big Bang. Each of these universes could have different physical laws, different kinds of matter, and possibly even different dimensions. The multiverse theory is indeed a fascinating idea, as it opens up the possibility of an infinite number of universes, each unique in its own way. Some could be almost identical to ours, with minute differences, while others could be vastly different beyond our wildest imaginations. But don't let your mind wander too far into the realms of science fiction just yet. It's important to remember that the multiverse theory, while fascinating, is still just that, a theory. It's a concept born out of our attempts to understand the complex and often mind-boggling nature of our universe. The multiverse theory is a testament to our human curiosity, our constant thirst for knowledge, and our undying quest to understand our place in the cosmos. It's a bold step into the unknown, pushing the boundaries of our understanding and challenging our perception of reality. Sounds intriguing, doesn't it? But how did scientists come up with this idea in the first place? To understand the multiverse theory, we need to delve into its origins. The birth of the multiverse theory is a tale of scientific curiosity and revolutionary thinking. It all started in the early 20th century with the advent of quantum mechanics. This groundbreaking field of physics threw a wrench into our understanding of the universe, suggesting that particles could exist in multiple states at once, only settling into a single state once observed. This concept known as superposition was mind-boggling and it made physicists question if there could be other realities where all possible states are realized. This idea was further developed in the 1950s by a young physicist named Hugh Everett. 
He proposed the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, suggesting that all possible outcomes of quantum measurements are realized in some world or universe. His work was initially met with skepticism, but it eventually laid the foundation for the multiverse theory. In the 80s and 90s, the concept of the multiverse gained more traction with the development of string theory and cosmic inflation theory. String theory, which is still a highly debated topic today, proposed that our universe is just one of many on a landscape of universes all with different physical laws. Cosmic inflation, on the other hand, suggests that our universe is just a small bubble in an eternally inflating cosmos, with other bubble universes popping up all the time. Each of these theories challenged the traditional notion of a single unified universe and opened up the possibility of a multiverse, a collection of potentially infinite universes existing parallel to our own. The multiverse theory was not born out of a single eureka moment, but rather is the culmination of decades of scientific research and exploration, each step challenging our understanding of the universe and pushing the boundaries of what we consider possible. The multiverse theory didn't just appear out of nowhere. It was the result of years of scientific exploration and discovery. But is there any evidence to support this mind-boggling theory? Let's delve into the scientific concepts that hint towards the existence of a multiverse. First off, we have cosmic inflation. This is the rapid expansion of the universe that occurred just moments after the Big Bang. It's like blowing up a balloon, but on a cosmic scale. The theory suggests that our universe might just be one tiny bubble in a vast cosmic ocean where countless other bubbles or universes are constantly forming and inflating. Next, we have the enigmatic world of quantum mechanics. According to the many worlds interpretation, every time a quantum event happens, the universe splits into different versions. In one universe, the event happened. In another, it didn't. This would mean that there are an infinite number of universes, each representing a different outcome of every possible event. Then we have the string theory. It proposes that the fundamental particles we observe are not zero-dimensional points, but one-dimensional strings. In certain versions of string theory, there are extra dimensions that we can't perceive directly. These hidden dimensions could provide the space needed for other universes to exist. Finally, Let's talk about the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. Some scientists believe that if other universes exist, they might have left detectable marks on this radiation. While this is still a topic of ongoing research, it's a tantalizing clue that we might not be alone in the multiverse. Remember, these concepts are not direct proof of the multiverse. They do, however, provide a foundation upon which the theory is built. They offer a means to explain phenomena that are otherwise inexplicable. While the evidence is complex and indirect, it's compelling enough to have many scientists seriously considering the possibility of a multiverse. So while we don't have a multiverse passport just yet, the idea of multiple universes is no longer confined to the realm of science fiction. It's an exciting frontier in the world of physics, and who knows what we might discover next. So, what would it mean if the multiverse theory were true? This question piques curiosity, doesn't it? Well, the implications of the multiverse theory are profound, and they extend far beyond the realm of physics. Firstly, it would revolutionize our understanding of the universe, or should we say, universes. We'd have to reframe our perspective from one of singularity to one of infinite diversity. The cosmos would no longer be a solitary stage, but an endless ensemble of stages, each depicting a unique play of cosmic events. It's like staring at an infinite sea of stars, each one a universe unto itself. Secondly, the multiverse theory could redefine our place in the grand scheme of things. If our universe is just one among an endless array, then we're even smaller and more insignificant than we ever imagined. But paradoxically, this realism is empowering. It could inspire a sense of unity, rem unity, reminding us that despite our cosmic insignificance, we're all part of the same breathtaking multiverse. Thirdly, the multiverse theory brings with it a host of philosophical questions. For example, if there are infinite universes, then every possible scenario is playing out somewhere. 
This thought stirs up questions about free will, destiny, and reality itself. Are we merely one version of ourselves among an infinite array of possibilities? And if so, what does that say about the nature of our existence? Finally, multiverse theory could influence our search for extraterrestrial life. If there are infinite universes, then the likelihood of life existing elsewhere becomes almost a certainty. This could invigorate our pursuit of knowledge and exploration beyond the confines of our own universe. The multiverse theory certainly gives us a lot to think about, doesn't it? It's a concept that challenges our understanding, shakes our foundations, and compels us to question the very nature of reality. It's a theory that, if true, could change everything. So, as we continue to explore the cosmos, we might just find that we're not just citizens of a universe, but rather citizens of a multiverse. But not everyone is convinced by the multiverse theory. Indeed, despite its fascinating allure, the multiverse theory has not been immune to criticism and controversy from various quarters of the scientific community. One of the most prominent criticisms revolves around the concept of falsifiability, a cornerstone of scientific inquiry. A theory to be considered scientifically valid must be capable of being proven false. However, the multiverse theory, by its very nature, is almost impossible to disprove. How do you test for an infinite number of unseen and unreachable universes? This inherent untestability makes it a controversial subject among scientists. The multiverse theory also faces opposition from those who argue that it is more of a philosophical concept than a scientific one. They contend that it veers into the realm of metaphysics, dealing with questions that science is not equipped to answer. There's also a criticism surrounding the idea of Occam's razor, a principle that suggests the simplest explanation is often the best. Some argue that the multiverse theory, with its infinite universes, is far from being the simplest explanation for our existence and the nature of reality. Despite the criticisms, proponents of the multiverse theory argue that it is a logical extension of established scientific principles. They maintain that it provides a plausible explanation for some of the mysteries of our universe, such as the fine-tuning problem, which questions why the constants of nature appear to be delicately balanced to allow for the existence of life. However, the challenges in proving the theory remain. It's a debate that transcends the conventional confines of scientific discussion, touching on philosophical and even theological questions about the nature of reality and our place within it. The multiverse theory continues to be a topic of heated debate in the scientific community. As we delve deeper into the cosmos and further push the boundaries of our understanding, who knows what revelations the future might hold? So, where does all this leave us? We've journeyed through the intricate landscape of the multiverse theory, from its birth to its implications, and even to its hotly debated controversies. To summarize, it's been a cosmic ride, hasn't it? The multiverse theory is a concept that proposes the existence of not just one universe, but possibly an infinite number of universes. These universes, each with its own physical laws and properties, are imagined to coexist and function parallel to our own. It's a concept that's as mind-boggling as it is fascinating, isn't it? This theory was born out of the marriage between two scientific giants, quantum mechanics and the theory of relativity. It was proposed as a way to reconcile the seemingly incompatible principles of these two theories and has since become a cornerstone of modern cosmology. We've seen how the evidence for the multiverse theory, while not direct, is compelling. It's suggested by the patterns of cosmic microwave background radiation, the inexplicable fine-tuning of our own universe, and the predictions of string theory. Each piece of evidence adds another layer of complexity and intrigue to this grand cosmic puzzle. But the multiverse theory isn't without its share of criticisms. Some argue that it's untestable, unprovable, and therefore unscientific. Others worry that it leads us into a realm of metaphysics, away from the empirical roots of science. And yet despite these criticisms, the theory continues to be a prominent part of scientific discourse. As we reflect on the ongoing research into the multiverse theory, 
it's clear that our understanding is still in its infancy. There's much we don't know, much we can't yet explain. But with each passing day, with each new discovery, we inch a little closer to the truth. The future of the multiverse theory is as vast and as unpredictable as the multiverse itself. Perhaps one day we'll be able to definitively prove or disprove the existence of other universes. Perhaps we'll uncover new evidence that completely overturns our current understanding. Or perhaps we'll always be left with more questions than answers. But that's the beauty of science, isn't it? It's a never-ending journey of discovery, a constant pursuit of knowledge. Whether you're a believer or a skeptic, one thing is for sure. The multiverse theory has opened up a whole new realm of possibilities for us to explore. And isn't that what science is all about?